to this. Question number eight, Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social Development. What announcements has she made on the new children's teams which form part of the government's white paper on vulnerable children? Uh, Mr Bennett. Speaker, um, last week I announced the first of two children's teams to be piloted, the first one being based in Rotorua. Um, we are bringing together key frontline professionals who will work with vulnerable children as they are the ones that uh, work with these families, they know them and have the information to see a whole picture. An individual plan will then be designed around the child and one lead professional will be responsible for ensuring outcomes. Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How will these children's teams work locally to protect vulnerable children? Uh, Mr Speaker, the new teams will be made up of local education, health and social sector professionals to respond to the needs of these vulnerable children. This will build on the work that's already there. Um, these teams take this to the next level of child protection, ensuring single multi-agency plans are put in place for each child. When fully implemented the, um, through a pre uh, predictor tool, will also mean that we're getting to them before they are abused or neglected. Tim Magno. Further supplementary. What leadership and accountability will there be to ensure these vulnerable children are protected? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think this is a key to the success of, of, of this initiative, which is we will be making legislative changes so that a combination of chief executives have shared responsibility for these children. And in each local area there will be a children's director who will be responsible for these children and will have to report on outcomes. Uh, Jacinda Ardern. So supplementary to the Minister. How many children in New Zealand are currently at medium to high risk? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think it depends on which um, set of accountabilities that you're looking at for that and predictors. So um, if you're looking at the recent ones that were put out by statistics and they would say that there are around 67,000, we are taking the 30,000 that we see as being most vulnerable. So because with the reality is as well we have to have the number of children that these teams can work with. There is no point in overrunning them so we are without a doubt targeting those that we see that are most likely quite frankly to end up broken or dead. Jacinda Ardern. Point of order, Mr oh, Speaker. Order, I seek leave to table a report from Statistics New Zealand showing that there are 268,000 children at medium to high risk in New Zealand. Leave us sort of table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number nine, Dr David Clark. Speaker, my question is...